This is Code.org, and we are thinking about what this program does. Like always, we can't hit run right away. We have to provide an answer. Once we do, we can hit run, but our answer is stuck. You can't change it, and it's submitted to your teacher. So let's take a look. Food truck, my food truck, new. Okay, so obviously we're making, we're instantiating a new object here. Let's look at this food truck class. Here it is. Okay, and then we're passing it a value, Catherine. So over here, that means this one has to run. Catherine will get passed a value. And we're going to set the variable owner, right, the instance variable of this class. Uh, you could think of it as a property of food truck owner to whatever value we pass. So we're creating a new object. We're setting it to Catherine. Now, what about print L in my food truck? So this can seem a bit tricky at first. What is going to occur here? You might think, ah, it's just going to print out all of the information that is contained within this class. The problem is code is dumb. We have to tell code exactly what we want it to do. So when we say print my food truck, it goes, okay, oh, this thing? And it is not sure what we're talking about entirely. It's going to try to perform the action. And what's really likely to happen, what will happen, guys, is what the computer sees here is, okay, my food truck. I'll tell you what value I have that assigned to. Now, my food truck's an object. It contains a lot of data. So what it will print out then is a hash code that is uh, involved with saving it on the computer side and memory location where it is saved. So what the computer stores just in that is its memory location. Because every time we actually use this object, the object has a lot of data. The computer needs to know where to go get it. So with that said, I'll just bullet point some stuff. Of course, you want sentences, but these are my thoughts. Computer. We'll print. Okay. So my thoughts, computer will print out the data stored directly within my food truck, uh, the object variable, and the data stored directly, um, and maybe I could be more specific, but uh, is the address, right? So it's not the full object. What is actually stored here is the address. So the computer knows where to look up all the stuff. The data stored is the memory location, the memory address of the object. The computer will print the hash code. Uh, let's see. And Quipal, hash code. So computers are, well, they're wizards, but they're also kind of dumb. And we have to tell it exactly what we want. The computer says, yep, I have something here. It's the address that I use to go get this information. That's what we get. Oh.